I want to be the top all-star because nobody in the history of Drag Race has spun straw into gold from this experience like I have. I've proven that you can have a bad day and then go on to have so many good days. Me getting to lip sync for my legacy, it feels like a victory lap. I came in like a rainbow. I uh, oh, come on, give it up for the big girl. Serving pure catfish. <laughs> My name is Eureka, and I am 25 years old. People would categorize me as a pageant queen, but to me, my drag is the genre of fabulous. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eureka. Where are you from? East Tennessee. Grom country is a biscuit, honey, and I love eating them, too. Your hair's hot. Thank you, girl. I love the baby hairs. We're a little natural round the way, girl, you know. <laughs> hey, that's my favorite shape, is round. I can see. I'll eat you. <laughs> Next up, Eureka. She's the forgotten Mandrell sister. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi to y'all. I'm Eureka, and this is Mary Jo Beth. I come to you from East Tennessee, and I'm representing the redneck woman. <laughs> <laughs> Honky tonk for dunk a dunk. All right, come on over here, Miss North. Come on, Black China. <laughs> <laughs> this should prove to be fun. Yes. How you feeling? Honestly, I feel okay. My knee's a little swollen. I have to use crutches, but I'm not gonna let it stop me. When I was doing the cheerleading challenge, I landed wrong and my knee just popped. The last couple weeks, I've been able to push through, but now it's hurting, so I have to use crutches. But I have a positive attitude. I'm gonna do whatever they throw my way. You give me a roll, honey, and I'll make it work. I need a moment. Would you please excuse me? Rue walks off the set. What's going on? I am just so confused. I'm nervous. Like, is going down. Thank you for waiting, ladies. I have made my decision. Eureka, <laughs> would you please step forward? We've been in touch with the doctor. You need time to heal. And in good conscience, I cannot allow you to continue in the competition. No. No. Please know that you are loved here and that you have an open invitation to return next season. But for now, I'm so sad to say, sashay away. Thank you guys so much. And I will be back. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Yeah, Thank you all so much. I love you. Yeah, I'm so yes. <laughs> I love you. I'm starting to crutch off, and I hear the whole crew behind me. <laughs> Just applauding. <laughs> Well, you found it once, and you'll find it again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bitch. I just feel sad, but I understand the doctor's orders. All I can do is move forward, you know? The love that I've been given during this entire situation, I finally feel like I'm a part of something that's bigger than me, <laughs> you know? And I don't know how the hell that's possible. <laughs> Because y'all know mama is big as hell. I have an open invitation for season 10. So y'all watch out. Oh, like a phoenix from the ashes, Eureka is back. I'm Eureka, and I am so, so ah, excited. Oh, I'm so excited to be back for real. I like, want to die. Oh, God. Oh, missed to our crew. I was originally on season nine, and I injured myself, so I had to go have immediate surgery. Oh, thank you all so much. I love you. 
I didn't get to really bring my all, so now I got something to prove. And I'm here to slay. Let me practice. Hey girl, how are you? Oh my God, your makeup looks amazing. Yeah, I'm lying. Eureka, I found it. Do not come for her. <laughs> <laughs> the light hits my face and I feel like I'm at home. Giving them sweet 16 Valley Girl with my puppy dog, honey, and I'm giving them every bit of sass and class. My drag on a dime is bitching. I'm letting them know Eureka's back. Bye, sugar tits. <laughs> you think that you are the number one sexiest grown ass baby in the world. Yeah, I have to be the sexiest. Well, do we have a surprise for you? <laughs> we have another grown ass queen who thinks she is the sexiest baby in the world. Please welcome Eureka. I've decided to be completely nude, basically, as an homage to body positivity. I'm shaped like a fat baby already, so why not give them, like, legit fat, sexy baby? Welcome to the program, oh. Eureka. I'm so happy to be here, I could just die! <laughs> now, what did you do before you realized you were a sexy baby? I was actually in a very healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. Well, at least something I thought that was healthy. But he left me because he thought I acted like a baby. And then left me for a baby. So, baby, I turned into the biggest, baddest, sexiest baby to show him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eureka, Aquaria thinks that she is the sexiest baby in the world. Ross, baby, I think she's wrong. Oh, honey, no, that's not true. I look like Linda Evangelista. I'm a model. I could walk on this runway in a diaper and they would eat me up. Oh. The thing is, I have a husband and you obviously do not. Oh, no, no, that's okay. I don't need Michael no more. Michael. My oh, Michael. so you're the baby. Don't you tell me that he pushes you in the stroller, baby. Oh, honey, I ride all around the block in my stroller. Oh, man. Are you in the block yet? No! 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 I thought Aquaria did a pretty good job holding her own. Unfortunately, she was in a scene with Hurricane Eureka. No, 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 no. Eureka was like the headliner. Oh, God. The truth is there's only one baby on this set, and it's me. Get out of here, kids. Get out. Get out of here, baby. Get out of here. Me and Aquaria worked surprisingly well together. I'm feeling that Vixen is probably bitter because she's the one that paired us together, but I'm actually working well with somebody. Hey, Mom, you be proud. Eureka! Elvis is still alive. Oh! I am giving you grown-ass honey boo-boo done ate the rest of the family in my Elvis-inspired eleganza. I am a rhinestone cow gal, honey. <laughs> now, she calls this a one piece and a biscuit. <laughs> Eureka, for the first time in Drag Race history, I'm going to say, congratulations, baby. You are the winner of this week's challenge. Woo! Thank you so much. <laughs> it's a full circle moment for me right now because Last season on week five, I was sent home because of my injury. And now this season on week five, I won my first challenge! Now once in a blue moon, life gives you a second chance. And this queen would be the first to tell you all about it. Like a phoenix from the ashes, Eureka is back. I got something to prove. And I'm here to slay. Alana was amazing. Your mama. We do drag to celebrate ourselves in a political climate where right now, none of us feel like we belong truly. The minute you said be yourself to free yourself, I was just like. Watch 
me smile and watch me slay Cause I'm living for my true self every day It's not about your color, gender or size But if we come together, we can rise I'm the elephant queen, what are you gonna be? <laughs> oh my goodness So tell me, Eureka What was it like watching yourself this season? Honey, the camera definitely adds 54 pounds <laughs> You know? <laughs> So tell me this, who are you looking forward to lip syncing against tonight? I'm looking forward to lip syncing against all of them, really, if it means I get the crown. Okay, and what would you do with $100,000? Um, my mother uh, raised me and my two sisters as a single mother um, and was put in debt because of that also with her medical condition. So what I would like to do is I would like to actually pay off all of those debts and be able to give my family a fresh start at life. That's nice. Two queens, stand behind me. <laughs> Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. The time has come. Did you lip sync for the crown? <laughs> Good luck and don't it. Ladies, I have made my decision. Shantae, you both stay. <laughs> ten, ten, tens across the board. <laughs> ah. I'm Vanessa Vanjie Mateo, get these cookies, baby. Vanessa's known for dotting and bopping. Hi! Hi! Like a hooker on Rodeo Drive. So she's kind of ghetto, but still, you know, eloquent. You have a big, like, drag family? <laughs> yes, guys. I'm Alexis Mateo's drag daughter. Oh, a Mateo. I, I don't remember her. <laughs> oh, 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 did she just shade her mama? Oh, oh, she, she did. did. Oh, she, she did. just shaved. From across Shady the table. Shady palm tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alexis Mateo is Drag Race royalty from season three. Now I'm finna finish what she started. Bam! Vanessa Vanji Mateo of the Mateo Dynasty. Bam! Yeah. So do you have a background in design? I wouldn't say I'm Project One Way ready, but I got my patterns in my clutch. <laughs> you have a lot of flavor, uh-huh. All kinds of flavors. Yeah. I love the quirkiness and the campiness of the dolls on your boobs coming out of your waist. They're just like, hey, girl. But here's the story. I'm looking at you, and I see round almost. It's about definition. You want to see the lines in the outfits. Mm -hmm. So it's literally a head and legs, and the rest is flowers. You guys put so much time and effort into making undergarments that give an illusion, and then you're slamming everything on it and covering it up. So think about that before you step out onto the runway. I've made my decision. Calorie, Shantae, you stay. <laughs> and they join the other girls. Vanessa Vanji Mateo, you've done your house proud. 
and I have just one thing to say. Bam! <laughs> now, sashay away. Miss Banji, Miss Banji, Miss Banji. Work the run! Work the runway! To go home first is the worst. I wish I could have been here longer. <laughs> I feel like I've let Alexis down. I hope I didn't disappoint her. <laughs> Miss Vanji, Miss Vanji, Miss Vanji. Bitch, I'm back. I'm back by popular demand. In season 10, I was the first girl out. Miss Vanji, Miss Vanji. I was humiliated. Hum humiliated. I was embarrassed. I thought I was a failure and I wanted to hide. It was the worst. Ooh, bitch. But then, when the whole Miss Vanji thing went haywire on social media, bitch, I made lemonade out of lemons. Ooh, let me just go ahead and do it now. Thank y'all. Appreciate you. Cut the check later, bitch. <laughs> I feel very lucky to be back. Get those cookies, get those cookies. I want to show America that I'm more than just a me. I'm not a one episode trick pony. I'm hiding, bitch. I'm about to hide and see what hoes walk in this door, because I don't want them to know I'm here just yet. Vanessa Vanji Mateo and Pheromone. What story are you telling us, Vanessa? Two hoes about to get caught when the police bust through. I'm scared. <laughs> OK, face the wall, Mary. I love that Vanessa is just taking charge of the situation. Both hands up. And I'm just going to trust her vision, whether I'm actually visible or not. Is this some kind of a bust? No, just two prostitutes. So that's an um. ongoing theme with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See y'all later, child. Why did I do the prostitution route? Vanessa Fangie Mateo. Fangie. <laughs> Last time I was on this runway, I was not so confident. This time I'm feeling my juice with my gothic Coachella cunt. I'm sitch, I can't breathe, and I'm living for it. Saluna or later? <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know where the wallpaper went from the haunted mansion. Huh. Up next, returning girl. Vanessa Vanji Mateo. Vanji, you are the perfect example of why week one is so important, that you have to show us who you are on the runway. Because last year, you didn't. If this is who Vanji is, well, good start. You seem a little nervous. Are you nervous? No, just anxious. Because last time I thought I looked cute, too, until I saw the footage. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of personality that just oozes out of you in a different way from Soju. <laughs> <laughs> you just feel like someone you want to get to know as a person, not just a drag queen that you want to see what they're going to wear next week. I don't really care. I want to know what you're going to say next week. And that's who a star is. Thank you. Okay. Welcome back to the Give Me More Hour Power Prayer Circle. Right now, we are going to have a live conversion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the IBBN stage, Miss Vanji. Can I get a Britney? Ready? Thank you, sisters. All right. Now I have randomly picked two whores that don't know shit about Britney, that they don't know about hitting me, baby. They don't know about oops, I did it. They don't know about the hair whipping. They don't walk to the 7-Eleven without shoes, Jesus. Thank you, Britney. Amen. Amen. Now, bring out the chicken head, please, <laughs> in Britney's name. Oh. Y'all see what I got to work with? But we'll shout. Get lucky. What is your name and where are you from, young lady? My name is Evie, and I'm like from some <laughs> hole in the Midwest. Hmm. I will attempt live one of my Britney Spears rituals. We taking it down to 2007. I'm attempting the Britney Scapsis. Oh, Get this. Oh, Get my this God. hair, baby. Oh, my. And Britney's oh. name. Oh. Yes! Now, and bring the name, Stronger Perfume. Can I get a hip shot? Oh, ah, yeah. hit me, baby! Oh, baby. Hit shot? Yes! Yeah. Ladies and Worth gentlemen, we got baby. a Britney. Get yeah. me, Britney. You helped me break the ice, yeah. and I am stronger than yesterday. 
You can get her music available on iTunes and everything else. Thank you, Miss Fangy. I thank myself. <laughs> and you too, Brittany. I'm falling out of character because there's one thing about Vanessa, when that bitch opens her mouth, it's an amazing thing to watch. Thank you, Miss Fangy. I just thank myself. Ladies, I've made my decision. Brooklyn Heights, Shantae, you stay. Thank you so much. I'm devastated. I almost made it. Miss Fangie, you didn't just come back. Bitch, you came through. Now, sashay away. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Now, let me go ahead and get my little stance. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Vanessa, Vangie, mother potato. <laughs> Thank you. Love ya. I might come back. Don't turn off the spotlight yet. <laughs> I might come back, baby. I can come back again and be like, hey. <laughs> I'm at the finale, too. Y'all never know, bitch. They might spin the wheel and land on me again, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see you later. Miss Vanjie, do this. Love you, Vanjie. <laughs> that time, that time you go viral, fake no. Holla. Let the check, bitch. <laughs> I think I'm just at a state of shock right now. I was so close. Like, I could literally taste the top four. But I'm proud of myself. And I just hope that everyone is proud of what I've done. I'm just going to take the world by storm again. I'm not going to stop. There's not going to be no for me just because I fell again. You know, sometimes the door closes. Find the back door, bitch, and get in. My name is Latrice Royale, 39 years of age. Yay! Whole team! Whole team! Miss Thing came painted, and she had stones on her face, and she was giving me all that. Ah! Latrice Royale is large and in charge, chunky yet funky. Wow. Bold and beautiful, baby. Mmm. Mm. shade of it all. <laughs> Latrice Royale. Yes, she Ooh. is. Oh, it's Latrice from Whoville. Yes, mama. I'm Latrice, so of course I stumped it on out, and I'm giving big girl sexy, showing all my curves and swerves, and giving a little face, giving a little attitude, and a lot of ass. Yes, beyond thunder thighs. <laughs> <laughs> Serve, honey. Mm -hmm. Category is canine couture eleganza. Latrice Royale and her dog, Babyface. It's very mahogany. Yes. Look at that furry muff. <laughs> I'm giving them sleek, sophisticated, simple, clean silhouette, and I'm feeling good and looking gorgeous. She's dressed to the canines. First up, Latrice Royale. I'm loving the whole mahogany thing. Thank you. I just think you've got a lot of sass and a lot of class. And a lot of ass. How? <laughs> Eat it. Some men like a little meat with their potatoes. <laughs> Out of all three looks, I think the daytime was your least successful. Glitter, navy, skirt, and going to the dog park, a little much. Your canine couture, simple. I would have liked a little bit more. Thank you, Latrice. Ladies, I have made my decision. Chad Michaels. Shantae, you stay. You may join the other girls. Thank you, Rue. Thank you, judges. Latrice Royale, my queen, I bow to you. And I have one thing to say. Bitches better beware. You have changed my life forever. You have changed the world of drag forever. I love you and respect you so much. And thank you for seeing something special in me. Thank you. 
thank you. Now, sachet away. She is large in charge, chunky yet funky, the bold and beautiful I am Latrice Royale. Latrice! Latrice! Dream and dream big. It doesn't matter where you come from, what color you are, what shape you are, be the best that you can be. So, without further ado, please welcome Team Latrilla. Oh! oh. Latrilla is back in the house. Ah! Everybody screaming? I know you're screaming, stop. I'm the large in charge, chunky and funky, Latrice mother Royale. Eat it. Naomi Smalls, legs, legs, legs. Can we get inside of brains with that? <laughs> Valentina, take that thing off your face. <laughs> oh, it is your face. <laughs> Your other one. Oh! oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Jasmine, this You're the key to my house, bitch. <laughs> Welcome to a season that somebody will give a shit about. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it's done, ladies. That's yeah. how you read it. She's large and in charge. It's Latrice Royale. The royal queen has arrived. Latrice Royale, give them life. Tens, tens across the board. When they hit the door, they clear the floor. Excuse the beauty. Excuse the beauty. Woo! Eat it, eat it, gag. Chuck, I bring it back to life. Fill you up with hope. Excuse the beauty. Come on, man. Excuse the beauty. Sorry those fries don't go with this shake. If you're the Big Mac, then I must be steak. Excuse the beauty. Tens. Literally is sickening. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is yes. <laughs> Now, will the bottom two please step forward? <laughs> Monique, with great power comes great responsibility. Which queen have you chosen to get the chop? This moment is beautiful and joyous because it's my first lip sync redeeming myself. However, I love these two. This is horrible. The person I chose, they are sickening. They are stunning. They really do give you the ooh-ah-ah -ah sensation. They just won't be doing it here with us. I chose the truth. Latrice Royale, as it is written, so it shall be done. You are and will always be an all-star. Now, sachet away. Thank you all. <laughs> Love you all. Good luck. You. Always large and in charge, chunky yet funky, bold and beautiful, and this is not the end of me, darling. <laughs> Anybody could have been in the bottom. It just so happened it was me and Monet, you know. I get it. I understand it. Did I come out here and do what I intended to do? No. Will I wake up tomorrow and still be fabulous? Absolutely. So... Oh, well. Everything happens for a reason. If this is not my destiny, then there's something bigger and better out there waiting for me. Okay, yep. No matter what, I am still the Latrice Mother Royale, and nobody will ever take that away from me. Get 
ready to lip sync for your life. Ah! Look behind you. I have died and gone to hell. Um, let me just get this out the way. I'm not even like upset the fact that you sent me home. What bothered me was that I can handle the truth. And I felt like when you were giving your reasoning for sending me home, that it was disingenuous and that it wasn't the real whole truth. It was. I just didn't get that. The person I chose, they are sickening. They really do give you the ooh-ah-ah -ah sensation. I knew that this was your friend. And at all costs, you were going to save your Lies. friend. Lies. Baby. Lies. Baby. Lies. I was just trying to play fair. There was nothing shady under my belt. Like I said, I don't have any hard feelings. And I, I'm definitely not mad. Because guess what? You're bad. There you go. Stunning. And I'm about to be seen. I'm going to be falling out, jumping up and doing jumping jacks, high kicks, whatever the <laughs> f I need to do to make sure that I'm here to the end. Let the games begin. Hallelujah. Again. <laughs> Am I going back to my old apartment? Ooh, girl. It just got fierce up in here. Now, don't get it twisted. I have no hard feelings towards Monique. However, you did what you did. So it's time to show you what mama's made of. Well, they always come back with something to prove. That's the thing. Let it be known, Latrice Mother Royale is back. And she's here to win this crown. America, OK, bury that. Love you, mean it. Two all-stars stand before me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from a final elimination. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. This is our Super Bowl. This is the gay Super Bowl. I'm dressed in my battle costume, honey. And these boots are made for stumping a mud hole in this bitch's ass, baby. She ain't felt the ass kicking she about to get. Good luck, and do not yeah. Pick myself up, turn the world on its head. Don't forget what, don't forget what my mama said. People talking since the beginning of time. Let's say paying your bills, pay them bitches no mind. Both of these bitches are slaying this song. Like, I don't know who's gonna stay and who's gonna go. all over that damn floor. But I don't know. Is it good enough for Rue? 
honey, I left everything all on the runway. And I fought for what was mine and was stripped away. Ladies, I've made my decision. Latrice Royale, Chante, you stay. Latrice Royale is back in the game. Welcome back to the competition. Thank you, 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 thank you. Gag, bitch. My heart is just <gasps> overwhelmed, and I'm so glad to get back in here and fight for what's mine. I'm so honored and pleased. Thank you. You may join the other girls. Latrice Royale. Takes a lot of balls to pull this dress off. I'm wearing all latex with a big ponytail of balls from top all the way to the floor. That's a lot of balls. That reminds me, I've got to get a colonoscopy. Oh, no. <laughs> Latrice Royale. Trinity the Tuck. Congratulations, you are the top two all-stars of the week. Oh, my god. Thank you. You've each won a $2,500 gift card from the Creme Shop and $3,000 gift card from JJ Malibu. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies. Two top all stars stand before me. Ladies, this is your chance to impress me win $10,000 and earn the power to give one of the bottom queens the chop. The time has come. Ready to lip sync for your legacy. Good luck and don't it up. Watch out, here I come. come, come. She's being gross. She's wearing this like old suit, long titties. I just don't understand the correlation to the number. I don't get it. It's so random. This is too much. When the tree starts to roll, on the floor, bitch, I lose my mind. Y'all <laughs> 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 crazy. I can't oh, not. Oh, God. So Ladies, I've made my decision. <laughs> Latrice Royale. You're a winner, baby. You see this on my shoulders? This is pride, baby. I am so proud of me right now. <laughs> I am back to show that I am here to stay and fight and win this Congratulations. You've earned a cash tip of $10,000. I'm going to take my $10,000 tip and apply it to my wedding cost because, baby, we are throwing the bash of the century. Who do you think should go home? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Your life is on the line. Because guess what? Both of them said you. OK, all right. 
interesting. These bitches are gunning for me. It would probably be Naomi at this point. Why do you think Naomi? Naomi did the worst in this challenge. She took on a bit more than she could chew on. So she made her bed, lie in it, at home. That's a very good point. I found out y'all both voted me off the island. Latrice, you know I love you. It's just you have to pick a name. Yeah. Um, I said you because based on consistency in this competition, you've been the most inconsistent. Have I? Yeah. You don't think that you deserve to be in the bottom at all? Well, based on my critique, no. Who did you pick to send home? Naomi. Naomi, debt has been paid, bitch. If it's me or you, you got to go. After talking to all the girls, there were several great points made by all three of them, why they should stay and who should go. And the queen that I decided to send home tonight is fierce, and she will forever be someone everyone looks up to. So I'm sending home Latrice. Patrice Royale, as it is written, so it shall be done. You are and will always be an all-star. Thank you so much. Now, sashay away. I'm sorry. Good girl. I love you. I love you, too. All right. RSMI buys one, so bye. <laughs> <laughs> All the girls kind of felt like it was my time to go. I guess because I got sent home once before, which is fine. I'm cool. This is the game we came to play, and they played it. Trinity, I'm sure, it has her reasons. There's no hard feelings. Bitch, I'll see her on the road. It'll be a kiki, and we'll laugh about this later. But right now, it's two to lose. So farewell, so long. I have a lot to be thankful for. I had a very enjoyable time this go around. That was my number one goal, and uh, Check mark. I did. I had a great time. So and I'm going to go and be wonderful and marry the man of my dreams. To all of my royal court, baby mama's coming home, and I'm proud, and I'm still the queen of queens, darling. Hello, somebody. Hello. Hi. I'm Nicole. Hi, Nicole. I'm Shangela. Oh, nice, to nice to meet you. Tell me your morning. name again. Shangela, like Angela Shangela. with an S-H. Like, OK. Sh Shangela Laquifa Wadley, the debutante of the Deep South. All right for the country bitches in the house. Shangela, she's a little bougie, OK? But she's also your homegirl. How long have you been doing drag? For 15 years. No, ma'am. Uh-huh. All right, you better be perfected. And you? Uh, only five months. Oh, wow. Fairly new. Wow. As I step onto the runway, it can be a little intimidating. You don't want to get up in front of RuPaul. There's corn hanging from her hand. <laughs> what is that corn? I'm corn cobbed. It's a you've been corn cobbed. Yes. <laughs> Shangela, tell us what this outfit says about you. Well, you know, a little fun, a little rough around the edges because I'm fairly new um, to the drag world. Your bust line is non-existent. There's no waist definition there. Ladies, I've made my decision. Sahara Davenport, Shantae, you stay. Yeah. Congratulations, girl. I love you. Shangela, you have only just begun, but I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of you yet. Good luck, my dear. Thank you. Now sachet away. Thank you all. It was disappointing. If I was to lose to anyone in this group, I'm glad it was my sister, Sahara. That was a great experience. And now it's time for me to pack these wigs and go home. Well, hello, who could this be? Hey! Looks like the box got an upgrade, and so did I. Hallelujah, I'm back, bitches! Again. Hey! 
I'm Shangela. Baby, I'm a double kind of hoe. I was on season two and three. You know what they say, third time's a charm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, lady. Oh. He's so gay and he's so good. They always say, la cueva. I say what? You have an irrepressible energy, but can energy make up for a lack of experience? I think the biggest misconception about my drag was that I wasn't trying hard. And I swear, girl, y'all, I was trying my hardest. But come to find out, you actually do need to know something about makeup and hair and costumes in order to be a full, well-rounded queen. Oh. What's up, bitches? Hey! Oh, hallelujah to you. Season two's in the house. Yay! I was there, too. One day, Very but briefly. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Very briefly. You are back again and again. 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 47th time. 47th time. Well, 47th. Since season three, y'all know I stepped into high gear and became a true professional. I've worked in television. I've worked in film. I have been able to headline my own show on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm not baby Shanji anymore. Chad in Alaska, maybe make room for me in that Hall of Fame. First up, our working girl, Shangela. Sit back, everybody. Talk my skirt. This is how you steal the show. I'm a pro. Yeah. Pro. Yeah. Work. Oh, you thought that was it? Catch the verse. Oh, the wait, let me get me some. Counting me out, but I'm not done. Working my body like boom, boom, clap. If you want to turn the party, bring Shangela back. Looking for an all-star? That's me. Don't need a sugar daddy, because I'm what six me. Started from the bottom, now I'm so full grown. Came for the crown like Game of Thrones. Ah, uh, Rue. Is the bus still running? <laughs> Step aside, I'm back again. So hype, so lit, adrenaline. I'm Shant Jala. Say what? Started as a baby, now I'm all grown up. Gonna take this verse just to let you know. Never listen to the haters. Be a pro. Cause I worked my way, paid my dues. Now I got the whole world screaming hard. She's serving hot pockets. <laughs> I'm floating. Baby, you can't even see my feet. I feel like Cinderella at the ball. And I'm going to be here well past midnight. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Shangela, I have so enjoyed watching you this entire season. I loved your fashion every week because it's very entertaining. It's really polished. It's also a little bit campy, but it's super fun and well done. And this look is a 10. I'm January jonesing for more. <laughs> <laughs> and in the live performance, any other bitch at the top of the game in music should look over their shoulder. It just was so tight and so right. It just looked like somebody in their element. You are a scene stealer. I mean, every single week you brought it. She did that. I am so f proud of you. I can clean up on aisle two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Shangela. Thank you all. This is Amori Povich. My name is Trixie Mattel, and I'm 24 years old. 
Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, here's another comedy queen. She got her overdrawn lips and clown makeup. She is ready to go. I'm a hair and makeup artist. So, I think a lot of the queens don't necessarily get where I'm coming from. Drag queens always say, paint for the back row. I paint for the check cashing place down the street. The maxi challenge this week is to create resort wear that has a tear away to reveal a new delusion. I pride myself on utilizing literally none of my natural features. So a challenge where I have to compete with these beautiful fishy girls with perfect bodies to me is a worst case situation. Trixie Mattel. She can't play, she doesn't have any balls. I'm doing Valley Girl, she's at the resort, she's playing a little tennis. Show us your birdie. Oh, surprise! I kind of look like a doll, so I'm giving you hinges. Life in plastic is fantastic. A living doll. She's like Skipper's sister, stripper. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trixie Mattel. The idea of tan with you is funny. Were there big butt-gusting, knee-slapping LOLs? No, but I liked it. You are not standing out for me. And I want to see some identity and some flavor, and I'm not getting that from you yet. If you're going to be the comedy queen, you got to go all the way. Don't let anyone else stand out. You have to. Trixie Mattel, you are an amazing queen. Keep on dreaming and keep them laughing. Now, sashay away. Thank you. Bye. It's kind of embarrassing to be a comedy queen and go home on a comedy challenge. <laughs> I had more cool looks, I had better jokes, and I'm funnier than what I was showing. So that was a bummer, but I hope that I get to meet lots of fans who like what I do. Oh, honey. Whew. That's how I roll. <laughs> that is such a waste. That would have killed if someone was here. I'm Trixie Mattel, and I am the crownless drag superstar from season seven. I came here to eclipse people with my talent, but also with my hair. There's nobody in here. It's like a Morgan Michaels meet and greet. I feel like in the real world, I've been a real all-star. But on Drag Race, I was not an all-star. Howdy, y'all. You went for the comedy gold, but all we got was bronze. I need to make amends for the fact that I came in here and just hit the cement and got dragged out like a dead body. Twice. <laughs> It's not about falling, it's about getting back up. Up next, the musical stylings of Trixie Mattel. Living's like a jigsaw, and the farther in you go, if you're missing pieces, you never really know. When you're ticking like a timepiece On which you can rely Wonder why you want it When you're running out of time Sometimes there's a danger Of choking on the parts No one gave a warning To the breaking of your heart Pick up all the pieces And go back to the start Never losing, only using all your moving parts. All your moving parts. <laughs> Trixie Mattel. She clearly likes to be reamed. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Trixie Mattel. What's your favorite book, just off the top of your head? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this outfit is everything. And then in the acting challenge, you were so much fun. Because every take, you tried something new. <gasps> and that moment where you used the baby's hand to wipe your hair, I died. You are now pushing yourself out of the Trixie Mattel box, so to speak, and you're making yourself do things that maybe wouldn't be in your comfort zone, yeah. but I think you taking those risks is paying off in spades. Thank you, I think so too. Welcome, ladies. Madam Forewoman, has the jury chosen the final two all-stars to lip-sync 
for their legacy. Yes, Rue. Morgan, you may tell the queens who you and the jury have chosen to lip sync for their legacy. Well, we tallied up the votes, and the top two all-stars are... Kennedy Davenport. And Trixie Mattel. Kennedy, Trixie, the top two all-stars of the season stand before me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me Win $100,000, a crown and scepter from Fierce Drag Jewels, and earn your place in the Drag Race Hall of Fame. The time has come. Would you lip sync for your legacy? Good luck, and don't f it up. All-Star because nobody in the history of Drag Race has spun straw into gold from this experience like I have. I've proven that you can have a bad day and then go on to have so many good days. Me getting to lip-sync for my legacy, it feels like a victory lap. Ladies, I have made my decision. The queen who has earned her spot in the Drag Race Hall of Fame, the champion of All Stars 3, is... Trixie Mattel. You're a champion. You're a winner, baby. You're a champion. You work out there. I just won RuPaul's Drag Race all three <laughs> My queen, <laughs> is there anything you'd like to say? I know you guys are looking for somebody who can carry a legacy as an all-star. I feel like I've been carrying that legacy since I left the first time, so this means a lot. Thank you very much. Now prance, my queen. Prance! I remember being the weird new queen in Milwaukee that nobody even wanted to give a gig to. And now I'm standing here at the very top of Drag Excellence, and I am so, so proud. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just here to sweep up the competition, girl. I am Monet Exchange, and you better get your currency in check, bitch. Oh, my God, what the f Monet is a very fun, effervescent personality, charming. Any, any single men out there are very charming. What kind of drag do you do? I'm eclectic, I'm eccentric. Yeah. Versatile? Um, versatile. Good. I like that. Mm. <laughs> Eureka, you're not versatile. <laughs> up next, Monet Exchange and Show Change. Ooh. Okay. Break it up, break it up. That's right, y'all the bills, y'all. I always forget, which one's Tia, which one's Tamara? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Big hair don't care, girl. It is a Friday night. We just got paid. We don't even go home and shower. I'm taking her out. It's Miss Short Change. It's the 21st birthday. We both got our glasses on because we got to see the ugly dudes at the club. And she's so excited. Yeah, Short Change is living her life, girl. She is feeling it. And at the end of the day, it is all that matters, period. They got their reading glasses on. <laughs> Time to go back to the library. <laughs> <laughs> Monet Exchange and Short Change. <laughs> Show change, you look thick as <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Down with the thickness. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to take this moment to tell you, Monet, how stunningly beautiful you look tonight. Why would you ever go back <laughs> to your pussycat wig? <laughs> pussycat wig, Jesus Christ. And I really enjoyed seeing Tyler because he, he was having a good time. I had the most fun. But doesn't mean the job that you were supposed to do was done because there is no family resemblance apart from a pair of glasses. I felt like you were taking like your coworker who never gets out and you dressed her up <laughs> and you were like, Come on, Stacy. We need to go out to the local gay bar, go see a drag show. I was thinking, like, you just met working the same car show, and you were like, oh my god, we both look great in the uniform. Let's go spend some of our money. Her makeup's not the best either, Monet. Like, her brows are a little crazy from here. I feel beautiful. I'm glad you do, darling. God bless. <laughs> but I mean, zero family resemblance. Ladies, I've made my decision. Cameron Michaels, Shantae Yuste. Thank you. Monet Exchange. Freaky money don't make no money. But Monet money show do. Now, sachet away. Thank you. Cha-ching, mother <laughs> Cha-ching. <laughs> I love you, Monet. Today was just not my day. And even though I'm leaving, my story's not done. And we're only on chapter three, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is much. This, is, this much is hard. My little drag daughter. <laughs> You're the only one. I've been, I've been bearing ever since. This is, <laughs> this is the immaculate conception, girl. Fertile for a half a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's life. Guess who's black in the house, bitch? Yeah! I am Money Exchange of season 10, your current reigning Fist Congeniality. I am here to slay, and until I smash that crown, a bitch brought her own. So get up, bitches! <laughs> Monet Exchange. Monet is on a roll. Maya Angelou ain't no punk bitch. <laughs> in season 10, I thought I was going all the way. The looks seem homemade, really sloppy. If I could go back in time, one thing that I would change for my season would be my rickety crickety runways, girl, so I could have some challenge wins. I want a challenge win. Yeah. Ooh, RuPaul, but I'm Miss Congeniality. I could never. Here we go, bitch. <laughs> Trinity the Tuck. You've had so much plastic in you. You won't be buried in a coffin. you will probably be buried in a recycling bin. <laughs> Manila Luzon. Emphasis on lose. Oh. Twice. <laughs> Welcome back to RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Spangled Variety Show. Soak her up. It's Monet Exchange. People hiding on the cover without knowing what you all love about. But when they try to take you under, <laughs> find a way to turn it out.
Final question. Why should you be inducted into the Drag Race Hall of Fame? Monet. RuPaul's Drag Race was one of the first shows that I found on television that I saw myself. To be in this moment in front of y'all on this stage, I know that some kid is sneaking into his mother's room when she's not home and watching the show and seeing themselves in me and discovering that they have that person inside of them. I do believe that everything does happen for a reason. I don't know who, if it's a god, if it's a, a, a sea slug, whoever it is, I do <laughs> feel like I'm supposed to be here at this time and show you guys that I do listen and I do take in what you are telling me to, to perfect my drag and to take it to the next level. And I'm just fucking grateful. Fucking great. <laughs> Two top all-stars stand before me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and to prove to the world you belong in the Drag Race Hall of Fame. The time has come for you to lip sync for your legacy! I am super close to winning this whole competition, girl. It's just a lip sync stands between me and a crown, a scepter, and $100,000. I can taste the crown and I want it. Good luck, and don't F it up. <laughs> After all you put me through, you think I despise you. But in the end, I want to thank you, because you made me that much stronger. Well, I I've made my decision. But first, from the Drag Race Hall of Fame, please welcome Chad Michaels, Alaska, and Trixie Mattel. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars will win a crown and scepter from Fierce Drag Jewels and $100,000. The time has come to crown our queen. Monet Exchange. Trinity the Tuck. The next all-star to be inducted into the Drag Race Hall of Fame is... For the first time in all-stars history. You are both winners, baby. We have a tie. Winner, winner, two chicken dinners. You each win $100,000. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> the world is watching, Monet. What do you have to say? This is further proof that long live the sponge, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now prance, queen. Prance, I said. <laughs> Did 
everyone who has underestimated the power of Monet Exchange, this is the booyah moment, girl. This is when you are eating your words and you are realizing that Monet Exchange is a fierce queen. This feels so good, it feels right, and bitch, I got $100,000. My exchange rate is about to skyrocket, girl. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel, and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of What You Packin'. Hi.